Coming up here, just about two hours from now, the first official state visit of Donald Trump's presidency will be getting underway. French President Emmanuel Macron will be in Washington for the next three days. Tonight, the president and the first lady will be hosting Mr. and Mrs. Macron for a private dinner at Mount Vernon, George Washington's home. Tomorrow is the much more formal first official state dinner at the White House. CNN White House reporter Kate Bennett is joining me now from Washington with more on this. So Kate, the first lady, she just briefed reporters on details of tomorrow night's dinner. What did we find out? So she just uh, released a behind the scenes sneak peek video on her Twitter feed and it looks as though, you know, things are going well. She's picked the Clinton China, it appears, and some white flowers and the menu will reflect uh, tastes of France and America. Uh, the Washington National Opera is going to perform. So it actually, you know, considering the entertainment has been pretty low key at the White House since the Trumps took office, yeah. this sounds like it's going to be a pretty uh, fancy pants so soiree, I guess. Um, about 130 guests should be in attendance. This, again, is something the First Lady planned all on her own, no event planner, which is typical lately for state dinners. It was typical for the Obama administration to hire an event planner. She's done it all herself. I hear from the chair cushions to the menu, to the flowers, to all of it. So it's a, it's a big evening for her. And tonight, I should say, before they go to Mount Vernon, they'll take a helicopter tour uh, over the city of Washington with the Macrons for a sort of well, bird's eye view. And that's beautiful. Um, yeah. The guest list for tomorrow night is is getting a lot of it. The guest list always gets a lot of attention, but some of the attention this time is because it's unusual. There are no members of Congress from the opposing party that have been this time, of course, the Democrats invited to the dinner. What are you hearing about that? So that, that is what we're hearing. They don't release the actual guest list until right, right as the uh, dinner starts. But we are hearing that there is not a lot of representation, if any, from Republicans on the Hill, even leadership. Um, certainly it's a it's somewhat of a break from tradition. Sometimes leadership from the opposing party is invited and they choose not to attend. I believe John Boehner um, did that a couple times during the Obama administration. So until we actually see the list, uh, we, are, we won't know for sure. However, our buzz is certainly that this is not a um, opposing party friendly sort of state dinner, which is a break from tradition. And then the photo that broke the internet. If I could ask you about it, the <laughs> office of President George H.W. Bush releasing a really touching photograph of First Lady Melania Trump with four former presidents from Barbara Bush's funeral over the weekend. So many people talking about this and I don't know, reading into what they see in this photo. Okay. Well, I mean, I think they should. I think this is a really important moment that sort of uh, speaks to Barbara Bush in a way that sort of supersedes politics. I mean, this is could have been a virtual lion's den that Melania Trump was walking into, considering the things that the president has said and continues to say. I mean, we see the crooked Hillary tweets still uh, mm -hmm. about this group of people. And she hadn't seen the Obamas since Inauguration Day. Uh, Melania Trump hadn't herself. So certainly she seems to have been warmly embraced. She's smiling. We saw the video of Obama and Melania laughing and chatting uh, before the start of the service. So certainly um, she took it upon herself to go. She announced before the president almost two full days before that she was going to go in person and decided that, um, you know, her respect for a former first lady, again, sort of took precedence over any sort of political mishigas and stuff that might have been happening. <laughs> beforehand with her husband. Th those two things are exactly the same. Politics and Michigas. Those just <laughs> always go hand in hand, Kate. Seriously. And I think it says something on what people are yearning for. They're searching in this photo for the decency and bipartisanship of days gone by or what people say is days gone by. Uh, it's a statement kind of on where we are politics-wise today, I think. Totally agree. Great yep. to see you, Kate. Thank you so you much. You too. Thanks.